Hello survivors, this is the Gazbeard. Welcome back to our 1000 day survivor attempt in the long dark. And we left yesterday's episode standing up on this rock looking down into the woodcut area and the Orca garage area of Mountain Town. We had just watched a wolf and if I get something to point with, um, need to be a tool of some sort. Probably have to use that one to be honest. Right, if you watch the end of the flare, we had just watched a wolf walk along there under that old man's beard there along there. Theoretically, he's heading for the bunnies. So, we've got two hours to get back to Milton House, which is a fair old trek from here to be honest taken us most of the day to get up here and do our cartography stuff so what I'm going to do knowing there's a wolf down there and we should have picked another flare up we've only got the one I'm saying there's an, a wolf down there I think there could actually be two wolves down there I'd like to get that old man's beard while we're here but what's in fact, there's two trees worth of it, and we've got to go to the picnic area and into the garage. We're still desperately trying to find the hacksaw. So if I stand here, there's a deer. Let's do our cartography thing. We're running out of charcoal. We'll have to pick some more up at the garage. Here comes the bad weather, so let's cut down this way. No, we just yeah, there it is. I want to try and get it while we're here. I'd sooner have too much and put it in the cupboard. Oh, there is two of them. No, he's locked on me. He's not going to be fooled by me crouching. We might be able to lose him if we just keep backing away. No. We change direction. Go past the bunnies. Maybe get him to lock on the bunnies. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. He is persistent, isn't he? This might throw him off. It also gets us out of the wind. That might make him turn around and go after the bunnies. How's our food and drink? Oh, we're okay. So, just give him a, a moment or two to redirect towards the rabbits. Let's see if we can get out of here now. If he's lost our scent, he might, like I say, go after the rabbits. Oh, crap. 
We're going to have to run for it. Phew, dodged them. Okay, put the flare away. I'm sure we searched this place, but there's a lantern there. How much fuel is it? Could end up being useful. We'll take it. I'm sure we did search this place. Leave that open just to remind us that we did. Oh, we missed that bottle of water. Plus, the sun's in a different direction now. It's going to light up things that we might have missed. Need to check these tool boards on the wall. Wood paddles. St um, wooden spoons, sorry. No. Really hope we can spot a hacksaw in here. Right, let's do the the front of the shop while we've got the light here. Check the walls carefully. I know we've been through it once, but at the beginning of a... see? We missed that. I'll be hungry later. The beginning of a run when you're moving quickly, there is always the chance that you're going to miss something. Often worthwhile coming back to recheck areas. Like that board standing there, is there anything behind it? No. About down there? No. You know, for a, for a gas and service station, there is a surprising lack of tool cabinets. than you could ever want in terms of coffee machines and paper cups, but no tool cabinets. I guess this is one of those modern service stations that only services your wallet, it doesn't service your vehicle. Now that we've got a Pry bar. It's worth checking for locked cabinets as well. Two charcoal. Was there a locked locker in here? that the first time through. So, as far as I can tell, there is definitely no hacksaw in here. There's a vehicle out front, and I'm not sure if we checked the trunk or not. So, let's take that. Yeah. Alright, blizzard kicking in. Let's head back to town. Winds behind us, we should be able to maintain a decent speed, but we've still got that area over at the back there to do. Um, very quickly, want to check our map, see if we've. Right, yeah. So it's the back of the river that we've got to do.
Our temperature's not dropping yet. Our calories and hydration is. I don't believe there's anything in here. Although, I know in story mode you can sometimes find things in here. No. Just make a beeline for home. If we encounter a dog, then we encounter a dog. Just a sprained wrist. We got off quite lightly there. We're going to need to rest too. Yeah. The dog went up that way. He might circle back around behind Milton House. Actually, I'll tell you what we'll do while we're here. We'll just drop those. Alright. Well, that was a... A little bit of excitement there. Uh, we'll start it with the flare. Saves a match using the flare to, to light the fire. And what we're going to do is we're going to get uh, 12 litres of water on the boil. Means we're going to use up some of the saved firewood, but that's the nature of it. All right. Excellent. Right, it's just. Oh, we've got 24 sticks. Possible. Too much stuff to carry. So that needs one hour eight till melted, probably about two hours twenty. We'll, uh, no, we'll wait. We can't extinguish the flare. We've got the flare until it burns out. Unless I can add it to the fire, because we don't need it. No, we can't. So. We've got the fire, the light off the fire anyway, so let's just 
Let's get another hour on the book. Cooking one hour six until boiled. One hour four. So we do need to add one stick. One hour eleven. Yeah, perfect. And that one's not going to boil dry. So let's just get another hour on that book. Because we've got 25 hours to research on that book. All I can think about is food. It's the only research book that we've got. Of meat for eating. Well, wherever that dog died, it was close. It sounded like it was to the left. We'll let the crows find him in the morning and then harvest him. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to drop the dead flare here. Take that venison. some canned drinks to put away didn't we uh, that was canned food these are canned drinks e no that's canned food those are canned drinks yes so that's it 62 60 85 65 that one's at 48 let's bring that one back into the pack make sure there's no others at that level no there's not um, that can go in the snack food, which should be one, two, th that one, oh, put that in the snack food, don't think there's anything else to go in the cupboards, no, that tea is only at 86%, wonder what's happening there, we might have to drink those teas earlier than we want to. 3.39 litres of water on us. So I'm going to drop one litre to the table. Um, that one there. Trying to see my. Uh, Row, rows of bottles, right, that's the short row. We've got a set of boots to drop round here, which are the high quality combat boots. We'll drop them and sort them in the morning. We'll keep the spare toque on us. We'll get them repaired up in the morning. Um, apart from eating and drinking, I don't think there's anything else that we need to do. We can hit the pit. He is pretty exhausted. That was a long run today. So, eat and drink first. Check his calories. He's ravenous. Let's just eat the whole piece of meat. Drink the water. 
that's it. Check the time of day. Excellent. And what we're going to do, I'm just going to bang him straight, th straight through for 10 hours of sleep. We've got condition to recover as well as being exhausted. He's woken up, it's daylight. Condition fully recovered. He's still a little bit tired according to that. Um, oops, wrong one. We need something to eat. Let's just... We'll eat two of them just to get the, the calorie count meter showing. Have a drink of water. all he needs. Right, we need to position them boots somehow. And they're kind of unusual, so... Can we put them on top of the radio? Hey, we can. Excellent. got those two pairs of shoes to rip up for leather when we need it. Um, they're worn work boots. Decent trail boots, decent trail boots, new trail boots. So three good pairs of trail boots. We've only got the one spare pair of work boots. We'll put them there. Ragged, ragged. So, what we'll do, just, those ones are all for scrapping. These ones, in theory, are all for keeping, so are these. Anything else we're carrying? Let's just check our inventory. Right, start with the matches. We've got some sticks to drop, we've got the book to read. Other than that, Oh, we've got one extra accelerant to put in the cupboard. Let's go do that. Drop the sticks and put the accelerant in the cupboard. And we're starting to do really well for accelerant. Oh, come on. We've got seven of them in the cupboard. Wow. Right. Medical stuff. Um, we're doing okay. We've got what we need. Clothing is sorted. We've got a couple of hat repairs to do. Coat repair to do. Gloves repair to do. And outer trousers to do. We need to lose the jeans and get cargo pants or something because they'll be warmer marching food is fine we need to, we've got an extra knife and a, a lantern that we don't need to carry so let's put, get them on the table so if we put the lantern up there beside that one don't need to carry this flare. We haven't got a flare gun. So, let's go put that in the cupboard. We're not carrying any flares now, so we do need to move two of them into our hand. Oh, 
got some crafting to do once we balance this lot out. We've got three. Oh, hang on. They can go into there. I've got three of these to drop. And that sits where my sleeping bag sits. Hmm. As you can see, we're doing really well with these. Enough to make five bows and enough to make 33 arrows. Right, that's, um, that's broken sewing kits in there. Any, oh, craftings we were going to do, weren't we? So let's just very quickly get those out of the way. See if we've got anything up here. Mm. Yes, if we move those in. That'll like, let us make two Raishi tea. That'll let us make six old man's beard lights. And this we need more of. Sort all this water. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Yeah, we know. We're going to sort it. Trust it. Have faith. This is all just, I mean, you don't have to be this organized with it, but I find it much easier if your inventory is organized. I find it much easier to be aware of what you do and don't have. Um, so, for example, with this, I know that we can essentially go a week without making more water which takes pressure off fuel and time so how many have we got there we've got five we've got 20 23 liters of water at about up to three liters a day generally more like two and a two and a bit um, we've probably got about 10 days of water there. Now, did we pick up... A, I'm sure we picked up a book for burning. It's not showing in the... Oh, we... We used it last night, that's right. So... That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. 
these we've got to craft. Right, so I think we should step outside. See if we can get a clue from the crows about where that wolf died. Feels like minus eight. Let's just step around the corner here out of the wind. Feels like one degree, so we can do our crafting here. Yeah, we've only got one of them to do, so we'll do that first. Actually, we've got two of them to do. I think we've got six of these to do. That's an hour and a half. By the time we've done that, it'll be time to eat. We can eat a horse. And at the moment, we're still running on the calories that we took last night before we went to bed. Right, that's all the crafting's done. How are we doing for bandages? Because it's saying that we can make some. We've got six bandages, we're okay. Got to put these in the cupboard, of course. That weather is atrocious. So let's... Let's just grab a kilo of meat and we're getting low. I keep thinking I hear a dog. But to be honest, there's probably something blowing in the wind. us fed and watered. Let's just very quickly see if we can find that dog. He did sound very close when he keeled over last night. There's a blood trail there. Did he go up the hill? See, there's blood there. And then it seems to stop. Oh, there he is. Damn, he was close last night. There's a feather around there. Four point nine kilos. I'm just gonna take the lot. Two hours nine minutes, two hours eighteen minutes. But I would use sooner use the knife. Okay. And the meat quality eighty one percent. That'll cook up to a hundred percent. So, if we can find a few more sticks, we'll be able to cook him on just sticks, instead of using the main wood. That. Not unless we go down into the woods. Right, so I'm going to 
use 15. You need to move these first. You know what? I'm sure that'll go further back. No, it won't. Which one's the right? We'll just step to the side to drop the smaller one. Now, normally, what I would have done with that wolf is I would have left a bit of meat on him for him to um, remain rotting there. And slow down his respawn. But we are getting quite low on meat. So. I'm going to do it this way. Take the charcoal. That's another four. Excellent. Uh, cardboard match. Magnifying glass. Wood match. Wood match. Cardboard match. Tinder plug. Stick. Start the fire. Come on fire, and what we'll do is we'll get an hour's research in while this meat's cooking. And then we'll take the meat outside, drop it outside, come back in and think about clothing repairs. We might even stand around the corner again. One hour 34, one hour 47, we're 12 minutes over, that's one hour 19, that's fine, so we'll just get a, an hour in on the book while we're waiting. Seventeen minutes, thirty minutes, forty-three minutes. So this is the only one that's in danger of burning if we don't remove it. 13 minutes. I've been so hungry in my life. We could leave these because it's 19 minutes until spoiled. Let's just drop them sticks. He is hungry. It's coming up to bedtime as well. So if we eat that one to get calories for tonight. Take a drink. Last time until it's ready. It's got 13 minutes left. We need to pick up one bottle of water and put this meat outside. And this is all part of pre preparing yourself for going and doing something. The objective of the game is survival, not running around like a lunatic on the edge of death all the time, which I see in a lot of videos. Um, that's, they're at 100%. They're at 96%. Right, so what we'll do is we will move the venison across. We'll leave a space for meat that may be in a lower condition when we get it. And then we 
drop all the wolf meat here. Notice that's at 100%. Take that one for supper and breakfast. Time of day is just coming up to sunset. While we've got light, we'll drop this wolf pelt and guts. I think we've run out of wolf space there, haven't we? Yeah, so we're running out of wolf space here. Hmm. We should have dropped this while we were cooking, to be honest with you. Um, got space for two guts there, so we step here, drop those. Feathers in the cabinet, or feather in the cabinet. Hello. Three can openers there. Kind of wondering why, because I thought we had some on the table as well. No. We don't. Okay. We are sheltered here. Feels like 10 degrees. And we've got enough calories and hydration. We'll just put another hour on the book. I seriously doubt we'll get another hour on it, but I suppose we can try for it. Um... All we're going to lose is just that sunset time if we don't. Hey, we did. Okay, that's 9 of 25 hours. And, yeah, thanks weather. I'm trying to look at those rabbit traps down at the side of the house. I don't think I see anything on them. Right, so let's head to bed. Let's hope this weather blows itself out. So what we do there is we just have an eat and a drink. So eat half of that and drink a fill of that. Gives us the calories we need for bed. We've got 1200 calories in us. He's not tired. He's not been far today to be honest. So we're going to pass time for one hour. And then we'll give him a nine hour sleep. He's going to bed early. Um, probably actually need to hydrate. He doesn't half get through the, the hydration, this guy. And he makes such a song and dance about even the tiniest sip of water right there we go right sleep nine hours off you go he won't sleep nine hours he'll probably sleep about seven seven and a half wake up pre-dawn right there's no light coming in dawn is coming up so we just I could eat anything right now that 
Take a drink. And we'll just go poke our nose outside. See what's happening with the weather. Ouch. That weather looks terrible. So... Only feels like minus four, though. Which is a bit of a blessing. If we were to stand inside and do an hour's research, then we could probably get that weather to get past. Still feels like it's not even daylight in here. So... Where are we at? We're at day 26. Um, at Milton House. Had quite an adventure just uh, two days ago. Went to quite a lot of areas. The Arch, that's what they call it. Right. We're on t day 26 in Mountain Town. And just created a save point. I'm going to cut this episode here because it's getting a little bit longer than I wanted. And then we'll be back tomorrow, Monday, with the shorter 30 minute ish episodes to take us through to Friday before the longer episodes for Saturday and Sunday. Hope you're enjoying the video. Hope you're enjoying the series. Please do give it a like. Um, please follow the channel. Also, follow the channels on Twitter, Twitch, and in, on Facebook. All the links are in the video description below. I look forward to seeing you the next time. Have a great uh, day today. Fantastic week ahead. And I look forward to seeing you soon. As always from me, it's bye for now.